Anzac. What does that word really mean to us? It resounds in our hearts. It's iconic. It is a cornerstone of our cultural identity. We see Gallipoli as being about Australians and New Zealanders. But on that peninsula, there were British soldiers, French soldiers, Canadians, Newfoundlanders, and of course, the people of Turkey. There would be a tale of love, and loss, and grief, and adventure for everybody that was left on that beach in those trenches. Andrew Anastasius and Andrew Knight are two Melbourne writers. And in the course of researching something else, Andrew Anastasius came across a letter, a letter from a man called Cyril Hughes of the Imperial War Graves Unit. Now in that letter was an intriguing line, a line that exploded in the imaginations of the writers. And became a script, the water diviner, that was and is a page one love story for me. It's 1919, four years after the Battle of Gallipoli. A man goes on a journey to retrieve the bones of his three sons. From the isolation of our back Australia to the grandeur of the Ottoman Empire. But he never finds the footsteps of his enemy. He finds instead more than he could have ever hoped for and a love that reignites his life. The thing that resounded with me when I first read the script was the Turkish perspective. I knew the number of Australian and New Zealand dead, but I didn't know the number of Turkish dead. We lost 70,000 men here at Chanakkale. Right from the first reading, I knew I was having a response to this script that was different. Yes, I could see the character clearly, Yes, I was making notes on behalf of the character, but I was actually visualizing the entire story as I read it. So when it was decided I was going to direct it, then there's the actual reality. Where are you going to shoot this story? of TV sets and movie sets was a TV show called Spy Force and starred Jack Thompson and Peter Sumner. So this is bringing all of that sort of stuff back into a present form. And I get to be the guy that moves the chess pieces around. Bringing together the cast was a very interesting thing. Olga Kurilenko was a revelation to me. Her name came up in a few conversations. I was in Europe, so I went to see her. And it was one of those things where I just knew that she was the right person. I think people are going to be excited by the depth of her performance in this film. It is not easy to marry for love here. Russell is wonderful as a director. He's, I think it's because he's an actor. <laughs> he gives great directions. When he gives me directions, I don't just hear them, I can feel them. It was very interesting for me getting the opportunity to work with some very experienced Turkish guys. Yilmaz Erdogan was absolutely certain that he should play the role of Hassan. And he was right. Major Hassan, can you tell me the no. name? I have finished helping. For the role of Jamal, I had to pursue Cem Yilmaz because he didn't see himself in that role. But then he had such wonderful insight as to what was in balance with the character and pointed out to me things that the character needed. And that's when you know the actor is engaged. You can easily create a legend made up 
legend out of every war story, but it's not that. It's the real characters, real situations, real struggle. I think it's going to be uh, rewarded. And I was very lucky with a number of the young Australian actors. Jai Courtney. I think when you're working with material that you're really passionate about and you care about, you know, it doesn't matter how how tough it is, how tough the preparation is, how hard the shooting is and all that stuff because, you know, what's rewarding is, is you know, what you're creating. The Three Sons, played by Ryan Corr, Ben O'Toole and James Fraser. Russell said, you know, when you're tired and when you're bleeding, when your final breath, when you have no food, when we've been pushing it for this many hours and there's one more hour to go, the only thing that you're expected to do is give. It's all about faces. It's all about fear. It's all about what you're about to experience. A film crew has many, many different departments. It's like a village within itself. So not only do you have the complications of putting a crew together, but you also have the complications of shooting in a completely different country as well. The complications of language. Infliction is on the second syllable. Allah Akbar. I think we have a wonderful story. I think it has a beautiful beating heart. And now, we actually put the film together. Yeah, I reckon I got it by now, Dad. Look after me, brothers. And keep my bloody head down. I'm out. The Water Diviner is an epic, brutal, romantic, heart-wrenching and inspiring adventure of discovery that proves what lies beyond good and evil is love.